Despite those better results, many young Canadians under age 25 are still having a tough time finding work. The problem of youth unemployment has been an especially hot topic this week, ignited when the Bank of Canada governor suggested young job hunters should improve their prospects by volunteering or working for free. Jeannie Lee is here with more details. So Jeannie, how are the job prospects for those under 25? Well, they really haven't improved much, uh, Andrew. And you know, we've talked about this every month, the job report comes out. We like to focus on this age group because we know this group has had it the hardest since the recession. The only age group that has not seen a bounce back in jobs. So here's how things looked last month for uh, the group I called the young and the jobless. Last month, there were 2.35 million under 25 in the job market, meaning there were that many people working or looking for work. And that's down about 26,000 in the month. So people dropped out either because they were back at school or had just simply stopped looking. Of those looking, 4,400 found jobs last month, which is barely any change at all. And overall, the jobless rate is 12.6% for this age group. That's almost twice the overall national rate. And so you see why the firestorm of controversy was uh, ignited when uh, Stephen Polas, the uh, Bank of Canada governor, made his remarks earlier this week. It really uh, uh, was received as, hey, that's not a solution, really. And so the finance minister today was asked, what is he doing about this problem? Have a listen. We're doing a great deal to, uh, uh, to enhance uh, youth employment. Uh, we've got job uh, matching. Uh, we have apprenticeship uh, programs. Uh, we, we have uh, money devoted uh, to uh, matching the, uh, the job skills needed uh, for, uh, for employment. But clearly, uh, none of that is enough yet to unstick that sticky jobless mm -hmm. rate for young people. And so why is it that the youth jobless rate remains so high? Well, there's several reasons for mm -hmm. that. And we you know, keep outlining them. And one of them is that when you're under 25, you tend to be limited in the kind of jobs you can get because uh, in a lot of cases, you're still in school. Also, you probably don't have all that much uh, on your resume. And so you'd be looking at entry level jobs, often in retail or in service uh, uh, sector. And many of those are what older Canadians have been going after too, in terms of jobs, because the recession hit them hard. A lot of people had to go back uh, to work, uh, get uh, you know, leave retirement or you know, stay in the job force longer and then uh, taking these jobs that um, were available. Now, that group has been finding work, the over 55s, and their jobless rate is quite low, 5.6%. So that may be one reason, but there are many others. And if nothing else, what uh, this week has uh, done is it's you know, got people talking mm -hmm. about solutions. And certainly we're hearing again from the Broadbent Institute. Back in June, it came up with a solution. It's something called a youth job guarantee, where it's calling for corporations to unleash some of that cash that it's been sitting on and for Ottawa to match that so that more internships and job placements can be created so young people can get their foot in the door and not for free either at $15 mm -hmm. an hour is the proposal. So just some of the discussion that's going on Well, today. when you see some financial institution making business billions and billions of dollars in profits every year, you'd think that maybe perhaps they may have some money to unleash, right? That's the point That's of the, the uh, Broadbent Institute to say right. the IMF study uh, said that, you know, really there's $630 billion of corporate cash out there that